Oh, look, there's all the ambulances trying to go out and solve the problems. And it ain't happening, is it, folks? Despawning is so strong that even when they're not on a road, they don't want to despawn. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the next Fix Your City with me, Biffa. This is the city of Crankton, sent in by Snafuzi. And they just say, bad traffic, not enough goods to sell, not enough raw materials. And the traffic already is pretty pretty terrible on this city look at that um this if we come out of this view here we can see exactly what that is 53 percent traffic and that is with oh my goodness me despawning is already turned on and it's that bad you can see they've got low connection here they've got good access to the highways there is um, yep, yeah, they've got some mass transit going on. Not too many tourists. Well, zero tourists. But yeah, 53%. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off a despawning. So for those of you that don't pay attention, because I get this in the comments. Oh, you're using mods to fix things. You're cheating. It makes it easy. Yeah, not when I click that button there, it doesn't. There we go. So now instead of the vanilla game mechanic, where if there's too much traffic, things just disappear... We are going to have every car that's on the road and every truck that's on the road stay on the road. They will not move anywhere and it will just get worse. Oh, jump again. And worse and worse. So let me know in the comments below how bad you think this is going to get. And I tell you what, I've done a, a pre-recording test on this to see how bad it's going to get. So I actually know. And it is going to be very very bad so get your guesses in i'm really looking forward to fixing up this one uh we've just dropped below 80,000 population we're making money we've got like two million in the bank and we're making loads so we'll look at those at the end and see how it goes i am gonna run this city we're gonna see how bad it gets and then i'll be back with you just before that i'll have a quick auto save sip of tea and i'll see you in a second are you after a strong, a sturdy mug for your cups of tea or coffee? It works for both if you really have to. Well, how about our new Cool Beans mug now available on BifferPlaysMerch.com? Okay, so, I mean, probably about 10 minutes later, it has got pretty horrendous. What was your guess that it was going to be? Hopefully you've put that in the comments. If you haven't, do it now. Okay, I've waited long enough. Let's take a look at what it is if we come out of this view it's got down to come on i press the button 10 percent good grief nine percent it is getting worse and we've lost like what's that six and a half thousand population or something like that i think it's actually getting worse as we're talking i'm gonna leave it on we're nine ten percent okay that is pretty bad into single digits you very rarely see that on a city and we can see that this thing is backed up everywhere there are deaths all over the city oh there's so many junctions it's just crying out for a roundabout or two and this area is just completely shock a block oh look there's all the ambulances trying to go out and solve the problems and it ain't happening is it folks you are not getting through there right so let's dive in to some things that you can do to fix your city if it gets in this horrendous state so the first things I want to do is just try and have a look at the connection we've got to the outside. So we've got this highway that runs all the way around the outside here. And we've got lots of connections into these different boroughs or areas. This little island here has got a connection. This one's got a connection here. So they're doing pretty okay. Um, this one doesn't connect here. But to be honest, they can go either side and come in in a few different places. Just looking at that road going out there. Oh, we're a bit short of connections over here. But it seems that most of them are sort of going in between this area without going round the outside. Um, also, if anybody wants to cut through from one city connection to another. So if they went up there, they could just go out. The same from this side. If these wanted to go over here, they would probably go through the city. So I am wondering whether another little connection across here, which would probably be a bit unrealistic because it's a big open piece of land. So let's try and, yeah, fix the traffic without doing that. But that's certainly something worth keeping in mind. Let's look a little bit closer down here at some of these roads that we've got coming in. Oh, jump again off of the highway here. So as they come in off the highway, they are six lane roads, which are very good coming down here. But we do seem to have... 
a heck of a lot of traffic lights is catching my eyes along here. If we use this tool, we can see. Ah, traffic light, traffic light, traffic light all the way down here. There's traffic light after traffic light. Which way are these cars going? So they will come in here. This is a big this is a big point that's causing an issue. Very understandably, with the way that this has been put together. Now, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna do a bit of a change here. I'm gonna just pause that. We're gonna take that road out of there and we're gonna grab this one and we are gonna attach it to here. There we go. So we've made this uh, a convergence point of all of these. This may even end up having a roundabout. We might lose a few cars if we get going. No, no, they're so, despawning is so strong that even when they're not on a road, they don't wanna despawn. Good grief, they're just all gonna drive back onto the road again. But I think we could put a traffic light on this one but not the others. So what we're going to do, we are actually going to use... Oh, we could do it this way. We'll grab this. We'll grab that road there and say everybody coming onto this road has to yield uh, with a giveaway sign. So we're going to do that there. And then for this roundabout, we know it's going to be bad. I'm going to put a control left click super duper time traffic light system on there. Um, and also you've gone from six lanes here. I'm going to grab this road down to well it's still six lanes but it's got bus lanes on the side so that just means that basically it's four lanes so i don't i'm not particularly bothered about the buses having their own lane so we are going to just upgrade these all the way down here and they're a bit intermittent as well and also with this being larger like this you've got well you've got the option for dedicated turning lanes we'll get there when we get there um, yeah, and I think we're almost back round. So hang on a sec. So this goes all the way around here. Six lane road. Then you sort of got this coming off of there. And then it carries on down here. And then it sort of dead ends over here, which is a little bit odd. That would be great if that could come out and connect up to here again. Because then it would sort of give a, a bypass to this whole area. I'm just wondering how we could do that. We could even just run that along the front here, even if we lose a few houses. I mean, you've got the nice beach. We could just sort of... Oh, man, this, this save is pretty jumpy. We could just lose a few of these along here just to give us a bit of space and do something like this. I don't want to... I don't want to lose all of your commercial in here because you've got... See, this is something else I was going to mention. Mm. You've got no connecting roads through this area here. So how many people live in Breeze Park? So nearly 7,000. If they want to get to work over here, you've got some nice connecting roads. If they want to get to the shops or anywhere else, they've got to join this road to then come back down into here. So having some connecting roads through here would be much, much better. Um, so what I'm thinking of doing is just changing how this is set out. We'll come back to that one there. Oh, and all the trees come back. Should have turned that one off. <laughs> Let's just get the move it mod. There we go. Excellent. I just wanted to straighten this road out a bit. I'm just thinking whether even if we just attached it into there and just see how that goes. And then this whole area here, uh, we're going to attach that with one of these roads. Can you give me the picker picker mods? And I want that to actually be an asymmetrical road uh, coming down into there. There we go. We'll see how that connection goes. And then this over here, we're going to grab this road. And that can come... Oh, let's try that again. There we go. You can come and connect into there. And then I'll just sort of tidy up this little bit along the front. There we go. That will do for now. We'll see how that goes. So that at least gives another connection. We might sort of bypass this. But I don't think that'll be too bad. We'll see what happens. Right, so... Uh, did we do the other thing we were going to do, which is, was to do this here? So everybody coming onto this road has to give way. So that will remove all the traffic lights that were around all of this road. It just means that at either end, we just need to, yeah, play with this a bit. So if we grab that one there and just remove all of those so they keep going. So yeah, there, give way, there, give way. So if we follow that around... Do, 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 do. We'll go back and check that traffic light. So that comes all the way around here. And then where it comes up to this bit... That will give way there and that should help excellent and then hopefully this traffic light is still a time traffic light it is excellent and that is running it is running yeah good right and we want to just check the lanes that we've got here so this is a four lane road what i'm going to do is i'm just going to grab this six lane road and i'm going to upgrade this bit all the way down here up to this junction 
There we go. I'm going to do the other side of the junction as well, just so we get some extra lanes. That's already six, and that's already six. So we'll see how that goes. And then just as a start, I'm going to do control left click and give them all dedicated turning lanes for left, right, straight on. But we might need to come back and adjust that in a moment. Um, and then we've got this bridge over here which is six lane road all the way over the top. I would also make this a smart traffic light in there. And I would also give them a dedicated lanes, control left click, Oop, just so that can keep on moving. And we've got these one way roads that are all pointing out of this. How do they get into this? <laughs> it's like over there somewhere. Yeah, and this, this points out. It's like there's no way in. Am I right at that? Out. Oh, this goes in here as well. All right, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these. Oh, look, that's an easy way of doing it, isn't it? Look, Wally. I'm going to just turn all of these into just normal rows that go in both directions like that. And then also you've got, because this is a main road going through, you've got a lot of buildings here on the main road. Um, so we don't want that because that means trucks are going to be stopping along there. So I'm just going to remove all of these all the way along the front there. Um, the same with, you've got houses all the way along the front, so I'm going to remove those. I mean, I could just do it all the way around there as well. And then where you've got your commercial, like this over here. I mean, I would perhaps move just the ones around the junction, just to sort of keep things moving a bit and hope that that's okay. But we'll see how that goes. What are we doing? 10%. So we're not making a huge dent in it at the moment, but... Hopefully, we're adjusting the road hierarchy just a little bit. I mean, this one coming through here again, you've got the bus lanes on, which is okay, but it just means everybody's got less lanes to go through. Um, and what's this one down here? So that's a four lane. So where these four lanes hit these six lanes, I mean, I would have these as traffic lights there and there, and also dedicated turning lanes there and there. Let's add in... So this is a four lane road. I'm going to grab that. We want some connection from this area here to get through to the shopping. So we've got like a convenient little nub of a road there. That is going to come into there. And then over here, I think we're going to just have this one. Bit of eminent domain on that house there. I do apologize, but tough. We're going to add this connection over here as well. Try and get as many other sort of little connections as we can. That's a little bit more connections. We've got connection coming in here to our industry, which is good. Okay, excellent. So we're just going to leave that running. Let's have a look over here. What's going on? Now, looking at this area, this is good because we've got a nice mix. So if they want to go to work, they can just cross over here. If they want to go shopping, they're right nearby. Anything the industrial yards want to send over to the commercial yards, it's fine. So you've got this is set up really well. The fact that we've got a lot of traffic going on in here, let's do it that way. I'm trying to sort of see where the major problem is. So where they're coming in and hitting down here is an issue. Uh, what have we got? We've got six lane roads. Again, we've probably got traffic lights on every single junction along here. Yeah, we have. So we're going to just change that and then hopefully not mix anything and fix things. So let's click that there. And I just want to zoom out and see how far this is going to go. Okay, so we're going to do give way for everybody coming on. That just goes all the way up to the end here. That's fine. And then it went all the way along to over here by the look of it. Let's just pick it and see. Oh, it's going a bit further now. Oh, it was here. That's where it went up to. Um, so this one here, I would just do a... I might just do a standard traffic light there. But it's not too bad. This coming in here is going to be a controlled traffic light. Or time traffic light, I should say. So I'll add that in. And this is coming down off the highway. So I'm going to do there as well. I'm doing the control click quick setup. And that's working well. This here immediately tells me that these lanes need to be changed because two going left and one going right is not working. Uh, we obviously need to do that. Turn that off and get more people using those lanes. Excellent. And I'm guessing this is the one for leaving. Yes, it is. Oh, man, so much jumpy game in this one. What is going on? Uh, what is that for? That looks like something was there. But it's not there anymore. You said you hadn't used any assets. So I'm going to just remove that. Maybe you deleted it and forgot to remove the road. But that means that connection there is not too close. 
And then you've got this road that comes down here. So this road through here has then become like a secondary collector going in and out. But it's still only a four-lane road. So I'm going to grab that six-lane road there. And I'm going to upgrade this. I'm also going to add bicycle lanes on here. Do we have that as an option? Let's use this. Bicycle. There we go. So six lane road with bicycle lanes. What's this one over here? Four lane road bicycle lanes. <laughs> well, that's not what I want, is it? Um, yeah, and I'm going to upgrade this all the way along. Oh, I just got to the end. And it's like a one way road coming through here. So I don't know where it expects in the cars to go when it gets to the end, but I'm going to change that and continue this all the way along. And then we hit this road here. So now we're sort of, oh, here we've got the in and the out. So yeah, finishing up at the end here is fine. And then we'll just put a control traffic light there. We'll put another one there. And then I would also say that coming along here, we need to do every one coming on needs to give way. There we go. I don't think that would have messed up our traffic lights what's this one going down here yeah this i would have as a secondary road so i would use one of these let's grab that four lane road and upgrade this section there we go and then it goes back into four lane road up there as well which is good um, definitely going to have a time traffic light here so i'm throwing all these things in at the moment then we're going to come back and just make sure that they're all working okay uh, what did we see? Yeah, the underground road. 10%. So that sort of connection through there is a connection through there. Because um, we've got a connection up the top. I can see why you've probably done it. We'll leave it as it is for now. And we've got this one here, which has become sort of a collector as well. But we'll, we'll hang fire with that one. 11%. Oh, we're clawing it back. We're clawing it back. Um, let's, let's have a look along here. Oh, that was right. Yeah, so we've got this collector down here and this one up here. This has now become a connection between the two. And it's only four lanes. So I'm going to upgrade this to six lane as well. And then, of course, when we get to the end, that will definitely need uh, a time traffic light. Excellent. Right, while those things are slowly creeping through our game, wow, we've lost the population, haven't we? Um, we're just going to take an overall look. At, so I'm noticing down here, we've got some of these things are showing up red. We do not have enough elementary schools. We do not have enough high schools, which is not very good. Uh, crematorium availability is not enough. Uh, that's that one there. Police mm, heating, I think. You've got heating in here, but we don't actually need to do that. So crematorium availability i think because we've got so many unfortunate uh, incidents going on in our city i'm going to go for some cryo preservatories and just place some of those around okay just a few of those our crematorium availability has gone up which is good of course with the traffic it's not going to make a huge amount of difference um let's just sort out our schools as well so we've got a lot of people over here that aren't able to get to school. I'm going to pop in maybe some high density items just to try and really help. Um, if we could just pop that in the middle over here somewhere. There we go. That will just take care of everybody over there. Everybody up here is yeah, see, almost, almost enough. I might just pop in another couple of small ones as well for these people on the outskirts how about a nice view of the river over there that'd be nice and over here we've got this spot on the end there there we go that should take care of that and then we have a look at our high schools um again it's just this area down here isn't it yeah okay so we add a high capacity high school in uh, let's have a look here have i got anarchy on oh i have so i'm going to put it there because the building's already uh people are not happy and they'll be empty and then I'm thinking we could just pop another one up here. Oh, man, if I do that, I can get right on the water's edge. And that takes care of that. University is fine. Public libraries, not very much, but not going to worry too much about that. 14%. Right. Let's dive into your mass transit then and see what's going on with that. Okay, so as we mentioned before, you've got a few bus routes and nothing else. So no trains, no metro, no nothing. So what I really want to do, I'm just looking at your buses as well. There seem to be a lot of buses down here and absolutely zero anything else. So yeah, that, that isn't going to help at all. So we need to do something about that. All of your bus routes 
in this one place here. It looks like it, doesn't it? We just change the color on these. Yep, there we go. We can see they are all down here in this area, um, which is, what are they bringing them all into? Oh, we got the intercity bus hub thing going on. So that is probably why. Okay, all right. Well, we're going to be definitely changing that, but we're going to add some Metro so people can get around. I definitely think we could have um, like a, a loop Metro over here. Once again, in the last episode, I did point to point instead of loops. And I got a load of comments saying, why don't you do loops? So I'm going to do loops this time. And I bet all the comments are going to tell me, why don't you do point to point? Is this a, oh, that's an underground road. So what I would probably start with, as you've got your bus hub here, is adding, let's just get rid of all of these uh, along here as they're dying off anyway. You're going to be gone. Thank you very much. Yeah, I think what we're going to do is we're just going to redo all of this. So I'm going to remove all of these lines. And there we go. That's the last one. And then if we come into here, into our hub section, we do have a metro intercity bus hub, which just basically is almost the same as this, but has metro in it. So if we're going to delete that. There we go. And we'll add, it's that one there, isn't it? Metro Intercity Bus Hub. It's a little bit smaller, but what I want to do is pop it back on this road over here just to give these people a little bit of a fighting chance to get in and out. Yeah, the road is almost flat all the way along, so we'll just go with that. So if I just knock this back, just about that distance should be fine. I might make that one way uh, as we move a little bit further along. Just want that in the middle. There we go, excellent. Boink. Right, so now we can start adding Metro and we can have got intercity buses and we've got stops we can add in there as well. So where are we going to pop our Metro? I'm also thinking of adding opposite here the large underground Metro station because that's got a couple of other lines that we can add in as well. We can, we can set it up so people can cross over there, no problem. Um, but that will give us some extra options, which is good. And then if we just sort of keep this view on here. So we want people now to get in and out of all of these areas and just travel around. So let me just pop down some metro stations to help us with that. Okay, so our first loop we've got takes in this side over here in Crankerton, uh, which has got a lot of commercial offices and a lot of people living in here. In fact, how many people live in here? 17,000 people live in there. So that's going to be that one. Uh, this one will be a slightly larger loop, but this is all in industrial and this is industrial. So um, we don't mind having a little bit less coverage there. So let me just pop those in. Oh, do you know what? I don't know why I don't do this more often using the network multi-tool and one of these connection modes down here. Hold shift to get underground. Select your stations. Uh, switch ends. You can come in here. There we go. Excellent. And then if you want to just sort of ease off the turning just a little bit at the end. There we go. Fantastic. And you get lovely, nice connected uh, metro lines. So in here, I'm going to have more bus routes. But that's going to loop around. That connects those two up together. And then we've got uh, this line here, which is going to come across and connect to another sort of mini hub over here. But let me just get the clockwise and anti-clockwise lines sorted out on this first of all there we go that's our four lines i'm putting those all to metro capacity 500 uh, i'll keep an eye on how many vehicles are added but also don't forget in here just switch to this view we've got commercial so i popped one just in there and i popped one just in there so we've got the main areas covered and anything in between we will definitely add some bus stops in um, there we go. We've got two lines. Yep, couldn't see the colour. And they can cross over. Let's just add... I mean, you can use the node controller here just to add a crossing. Or you could do it with upgrading one of the roads to something a bit different. But I want to just make it easy. Oh, look at all the traffic. He's getting better around there. What are we at at the moment? If I come out of that view and do that. 48% going up already. Nice. Okay, so then let me do a similar thing over here. Hmm, where do I want a hub? Somewhere where there's some space. It's not going to take up a load. I mean, this looks like a good little central spot here. If we took away, whoa, if we took away some of these buildings, we could do something. So the other one was the Metro Intercity Bus Hub. Now we're going to just add the Bus Metro Hub. So we don't have any Intercity 
There we go. Bus is coming in here, but we can add some bus stops in to get people to our metro. Right, let me just pop in some metros here. Okay, a little bit different this time. We're going for a straight line all the way through here. And then we've got a straight line all the way through there, hitting all the hot spots, which are some high density stuff, offices, high density residential, commercial, industry down there. And then let's go back to this one and let's go back to this one. Okay, we need to turn that on. There we go. Excellent. Then we've got a connection between these two here as well, if anybody wants to transfer. So let me add in our lines on here. There we go. Excellent. So that's seven lines in total. So now we've got loops down here, point to point up here. Nobody can complain. We've covered all the bases. And just looking back at the lines we've had running for zoink a few minutes so some of these have only one on i'm always gonna up those to two just to sort of keep their regularity going for all the people that are there let's have a look so this has got two and actually could do with more so let's just double that up to four and this one probably needs to be yeah i'll make that four as well why not excellent and then i'll keep an eye on these new ones down here and see what we need to do with those Oh, yeah, I forgot down here in Crankerton. We've got one more line that goes this way that isn't being used. And I was going to use that to connect up to here. And we've got a... Yeah, we can. We can do that. Let's go in here. All right, let's come out of this view. Let's open that. Let's go into tunnel. Let's grab that. Hold shift and grab that one. And then come all the way down to... Let's do that side first. How does that look? Oh, that's straight all the way. That'll be fine. So if we just sort of move that out a little bit... And then we'll do the same over here. Just a touch. Excellent. We'll do that. And then we'll have a connection going across the river. <laughs> or above the river. You know, depending on how you like your metro. Yeah, I think I need to lower that down a little bit. Whoops. Yep, that should be okay. And then we're going to pop in our line going from there all the way up to there and back again. Here we go. Complete the line. And that one is Metro line number eight. Oh, let's give that a nice, there we go, a nice color. And that's got two stops, one vehicle, two vehicles. Yeah, I was going to say two vehicles at the most. I'm going to make that the 500. Nope, that was not the 500. The 500 as well. There we go. And then keep an eye on how all that is going. So next, it's buses. So, for instance, down here in Crankton, we've got the one metro stop there and there. So a nice little bus route that just sort of loops around, maybe comes in and out of our station. Um, I'm not going to bother so much in the industrial areas. I think that'll be okay. That one is very near to here. So actually, what we could do is add in uh, a walking path. There we go. So people can get from here uh, over to here. No problem when they come in and out of there. Excellent. Um, and then we're going to want one. Yeah, because the metro is over there, over there. So another little bus route in here. And then I'll do the same over in this one as well. So I'm just going to do that off camera because there's going to be quite a lot of bus line placing. And then we'll have a look at how all of that is being utilized. Oh, just before I do that, uh, quick check. 56%. Things are improving. Nice, nice, nice. Right, all the bus routes have been put in. I won't go through them all in detail, but basically they sort of go around the different areas and lead near enough to where the, you know, there's a bus stop there and it's not too far to walk just down that road to get to the metro. I've done the same there through the low density, through the high density and yeah, everywhere really. And I've connected up this metro stop, which I'd missed before. I'm sure that was going to be mentioned. So I'm just sort of letting this run a bit and seeing how well they're being used. Some of these I've got ridiculous amount of buses on. So I will definitely be dropping those down. It's just because of the length of the journey. I really don't like the way it does that, but... The journeys aren't too far, as far as I'm concerned. So I think the less amount of buses that hold more people. Oh, this is going to be a really busy one. Look at this one. So we are going to take advantage of articulated bus. What's the biggest one without it being articulated? Probably the double-deckers, isn't it? So if we go for... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? 70... This one here. 65 double-decker. And I tend to sort of just put those on all the lines... Just sort of have to go back and fiddle around with them. So I'm just going to do that. There we go. Excellent. Let's just jump back into our Metro. Ooh, ooh, lots and lots. I think this one here is the one that cuts through. 
Uh, let's come out of that metro line. Maybe it isn't. No, it's just the one going around here. Okay, yeah, very much in use. So as long as we're keeping up with these, see that needs another one. So I'm just going to, what are we at? 16th of April, 2043. So I'm going to go and watch a video for 10 minutes. I'm going to keep an eye on all of this and adjust any that aren't really keeping up. And then we'll come back and see what the traffic is after that. At the moment, it's 56%. So it is getting there. I will see you in a moment. Population's rising as well, up to 61,000. Very quickly, just going to add a couple of these things on here. A high-tech housing. Uh, yeah, we're going to do that. Highways ban, heavy traffic ban, encourage biking. Yes. Um, I don't think any of these we want to sort of adjust. Industry 4.0 no i think that's okay we'll leave that taxation we're going to leave all of that this one we're going to have parts of recreation free public transport i mean no i'm not going to go for that one that'll be fine you can hear everybody upgrading behind us which is nice prefer parks no that's fine we'll go for free wi-fi reduce the post park maintenance boost yes automatic sorting yes book fair yeah and that's fine so that should give us some boost to land value and such so if we just look out here land value not too bad not too bad where all the residential stuff is excellent so while we're waiting for the traffic to get better i'd like to make use of some of the asymmetrical roads that we've got now in the game so we're going to just jump into here and these larger ones are fantastic so asymmetrical seven lane road so if we have a look here the way i set this up we've got one lane for left right and straight on if we add that one in there and turn it around we now get extra lanes so depending on where the people wish to go um, we can sort of add that back here as well i'm going to do it on here um so what i will probably do is turn off those and I have two straight on one left and right uh we can see these there's lots of people wanting to go straight on so i'll make those dedicated straight on lanes and um, possibly we didn't upgrade this one let me do it anyway let me grab that road yeah i'm gonna do that one and that one and that'll be fine yep so we get the extra lanes let's come back into here and i might just do the same on this one i think as well dedicated left and right and the two straight on they're just getting a bit confused at the moment in the middle but we'll sort that and then this one here i'll probably do the same as well yeah and then we'll see how that goes hopefully the traffic lights will just sort themselves out if i stop and start them now they're going to mess up all my lane lanes that i've done let's just speed through that and just watch this for a second and keep an eye on how it goes it may be that we need to adjust the traffic lights a little bit what i also do when i put in two segments like this i make them go straight through so a bit of control s you go there on both of those there we go so if they need to stack up they've got extra lanes for stacking up excellent let's just watch this for a sec i might need to increase the timing over there but let's see That's looking okay, isn't it? Look at that. That has cleared that one right up, which is what I like to see. Using all the lanes as well, which is working even better. So what I like to do, if we do it a bit slower, so it's literally just gone. And that yellow one, I think, was the last van or the last vehicle to park up. And they've got through, I think. Which one's going next? There we go. This one's going next. So this is the last one that sort of entered this section. This one here, probably the last one. Yeah, so they're all getting through over here as well. So they've just gone... And we're just up to that line and they're getting through so it's all working okay which is great so we can go along and do that along here now what we do have this is a main collector that's going through here and we've got far too many roads connecting into here so what i want to do is remove ooh, remove some of these and space them out and i'm sort of getting over to this section here this is further away which is good so that's what i want and we should even one of these coming in and out should be enough to service all of this so if we take out that one and i'm gonna might just leave this one in as well and that's fine and then we should also really have a, a connection down to here as well and that's a four lane road so we've got dedicated lanes all the rest of it i'm just going to do a quick control left click with that in there give dedicated lanes and then i'm going to make that give way just to keep ooh, keep that one going 
let's have a look then we've got one connection down here we've got one connection over there so overall that should be better and then we might just do the same thing on this one with the asymmetrical lanes we can see it's backing up all the way along there so there's a lot of traffic coming from over the bridge here if we have a look at that so i'm just wondering whether we could just adjust this ever so slightly what i'm gonna do is grab this here there we go we're gonna upgrade another segment i want that to be a raised piece there yep that's good we'll do a bit of you go there in the middle no nope, that's not the one i want this one here so no no lane switch in there control s no lane switch in there and we're also going to say don't oh look they're going through already uh don't stop here so we're going to say go straight through on that section and already that's gone down look that was all queuing up that's all working nicely excellent things are improving 58 percent just further along the road a bit this is a very very busy road coming down here basically they're all just trying to get up to the end here so i think again just adding these asymmetrical roads in is really going to help and it's this this one here yes yeah, because we've got the got the bus lanes down in here again which as we've said before it's fine uh, i'm gonna go that way and turn that round one around the other way we'll do the hugo there on this section then they can sort of move and do what they like there uh, we don't have traffic lights here so i'm going to put in control left click automated traffic lights today we haven't actually had to change any traffic lights have we? we've just let them come on i want this piece of road thank you we've just let them go as they wish to go so we've got two left two right uh that one is two left in yeah that's fine we'll leave it like that yeah we'll leave that one there and then i'm thinking we might even just have this all the way down here as well because it's just so busy we'll turn that around we'll keep that going down and then we'll have it go the other direction into this one so we're sort of, you know, the lane mathematics are maybe going out the window a bit, but just because there's so much traffic, we're just happy to use. There we go. I want that that way and that that way. There we go. Happy to get all the extra lanes that we need just to keep things going. And I'm thinking that has got a traffic light on, hasn't it? Is that just a normal traffic light? Yeah, we'll get rid of that. And we're going to make you give way there. And I'm just going to just keep an eye on this for a minute. So what I want is to see this go down here. All these people coming up, which it is. And when the lights change. Yeah, this green one here. Are they going to get through? Or just, it's getting busy down there. So that's good. What's going on down here? Again, this isn't too much of a problem, is it? It's just, you're trying to go around there. Everyone's just sort of sat looking at each other because there's not enough lanes yeah this is the one that i'm was thinking about before bus lanes but not enough lanes for everything else so we will just change that one out we'll just let that run a sec let's have a look at the traffic light situation so yeah we've got lights there lights there lights there lights there <laughs> lights there so the bit i want to get moving is these people down here so what i'm going to do is if you're going to give way these are two junctions very close to each other which is probably what is going wrong here so if i just say you go through there where's my mouse pointer you go through there i feel like these need more these need more yeah that's basically the end of that sentence so we'll go for we're just going to go overkill that one there instantly everybody's moving because there's so many more options so then the last thing is is this bit at the end here which i think is just a normal traffic light yeah we're going to go for control left click super duper traffic light and then we're just going to look at our whoops look at our lanes and just see how everybody's doing yeah that's okay we've got two lanes for each this should have two lanes for each as well oh is that that's asymmetrical going the wrong way isn't it let's turn that one around there we go excellent have a look at that yep two lanes straight on two lanes right um this will go that way so we get two lanes for each and this end has only got three and it's only going into three anyway and then what i'm going to do here 
is say that you go through and you go through so that becomes the main thing and then hopefully once we've got this over here sorted i don't know whether i want that to be a traffic light this should be give way did i not do that before just to keep these people going which is what i want so you keep going and then i'm also going to say you give way there so hopefully this little bit here is not going to need a traffic light it's going to need a traffic light i'm going to do a control left click traffic light thing and we'll see how that goes i may end up removing one of these roads because they're just getting a little bit annoying do you know what i'm not going to let them go straight i'm going to say you can only go left and right here treat it as a t-junction and then i'm just going to have a look keep an eye on this this and this and just see if it goes down let's speed that up You can probably see where the issue is. It's like the lane changing in the middle here. So again, we're going to do a bit of Hugo there, right in there. So they can pick their lane when they come in. Is there one in there as well? Yeah, they can pick their lane when they come into a junction. <laughs> What's going on with this road here? Let's just turn that one around. There we go. Hopefully that will work. What are we at? 56, 57%. We're sort of getting there. We're getting there. I just want to keep an eye on all of this down here because there's a lot of people trying to get in there i'm thinking about adding just a little road to go into there as like a little shortcut to take away from this big old junction it's going to be more people going down there i feel like i'm going to be fiddling with this one for a while so let me have a little play around with it we'll see what we can do what am i looking for on here highway and if anything interesting happens i will i'm going to do that i will come back and show you and what i don't want is people coming up here going left so i'm going to do that and say no but I'm going to do this one here and say just that one. And it might just take away the stress here. And then what I'm going to do is say at the end here, you're only going right. So if you want to go left down here, you go this way. If you want to go right, you go that way. I'll have a little fiddle around with the timing on this lights as well. And I think hopefully we'll get this little area sorted. Oh, just one more thing before we let the game run for a bit and see how it all goes. I've added in um, a metro, uh, not metro, a monorail loop. So we've done a nice big, see all these ones here, a nice big monorail loop around the top. And also a nice big monorail loop around the bottom as well, uh, which has been going really well. If we have a look at these, lots of people using those. So I've got clockwise and anti-clockwise of all of those. And I always check out the goods as well, outside connections, and you are exporting so many goods. Normally, it's a problem importing, but we're okay on that. But exporting, oh, 10,000 goods from all these places that are lit up with purple. And all of these are industry areas. So, yeah, I've removed this industry zone, and I'm probably going to remove this industry zone as well and see if we can balance that out a bit. Um, jobs are... It's on the wrong screen. Jobs are okay unemployment a little bit but you know that's not too bad so i think what's happening with the traffic at the minute is just an overabundance of industry so i dezoned all of this but they're still there so i'll have to go through and delete those as well oh my goodness me we've finally done it i've just spent like the last two hours going through loads of junctions and setting up the road hierarchy correctly we've got the monorail that goes around we were literally at 80 percent like a couple of seconds ago i've just messed around with a couple of roundabouts here but I've removed a load of connections that were coming down onto this road. So this main road only has this one, this one, this one, this one's further down there, this little short one. Instead of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, there were so many, there we go, 80%. So many road connections, it was just going nuts. So that has really helped. Yeah, it's sort of fluctuating a little bit. Uh, down here we popped in a little roundabout as well which has really helped with keeping this moving um upgraded all the outside to the six lane road particularly where it's got the monorail on and then there's some through roads as well which are four lane roads which are really helping and i've sort of tried to remove any large roads that weren't really needed in the area that were just sort of taking up space our population is about ten thousand more than it was before yes we've removed all of the industry from up here and i popped in a cargo train terminal as well to help those that need the goods that are going to be coming in or out um, for the commercial to be coming in and out there if needed. But we've still got plenty of goods. I think we're still probably exporting some goods. So we're making more goods than we need. I also trim back a little bit at your forestry down here. As you can see, the buildings are there and there. There's just trees in the middle. 
in your little sort of helix shaped area and that's fine because we're still exporting tons of forestry products as you can see as well these little green buildings here um, and then we've also got some agricultural ones and i've just changed some of this from ag all agricultural to uh, some normal industry because all these forestry agricultural or an oil needs to go through normal industry to make goods so we are importing some goods but we're not exporting hardly any so that is really good i'm really pleased with the way that's gone 80 percent is normally what i aim for i will call that a success so if you'd like me to fix your city uh, check out the link in the description below there's a form to fill in and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more have a great day take care everybody bye, -bye.